I had my two driver's side doors open. I was cleaning the inside of my car. Okay, so just those two doors? Just those two doors. Okay, and you were cleaning your car? I was cleaning my car. I was almost done, and all of a sudden, just boom. And which door was hit? The back door, so driver's side back door. Okay, so Ms. Stevenson, can you walk up to the diagram and just kind of explain what happened? Mm -hmm. So, um, I was sitting here, that door was open, and the defendant's car came down the road, and he did not hit this door, but he hit this door and just kept going. Okay, so you had the back door open, as well mm -hmm. as the driver's side door. Correct. And he hit the back door, mm -hmm. not the driver's side, okay. Mm -hmm. So he kind of hit, and then I think And he the missed impact. the driver's side door? He missed the driver's side door. Okay. Is this where you generally clean your car? Mm -hmm. Were you living in an apartment, a house? Mm -hmm. apartment? I live right here. Okay, an apartment? Apartment. Okay. He hits your car door. What happened next? He hits my car door and he keeps on driving. So he kind of ends up over here on the other side of Miramar. And at that point, I'm out of the car and I'm just like screaming, like, you know, what's going on? Like, why? And where were you when he hit the back door? I was sitting in my car on the driver's So you side. were pretty close to yeah. where contact was made. Yeah, he could have easily hit me. Okay. For sure. So then I'm, you know, he's up here past Miramar and he kind of like, what, what happened? And then I'm still standing in the middle of the street. My boyfriend comes out and we're both kind of standing in the street. He backs up and is still kind of like, oh, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. And then um, that's kind of when we started talking about what had happened. Okay, you can go back to the podium cool. here. Mr. Jacobs, I want to give you an opportunity to explain mm -hmm. your side of it. If you need to use a diagram, please feel free to walk up. Well, first of all, I had no idea the front door was open. I thought it was only the rear door, to be honest okay. with you. Okay. I don't even see how it would be possible to hit one without the other because it pulled the door forward. So the front door being open makes no sense to me. This is the okay. first time hearing that. Okay. And far as I went, I stopped pretty much immediately. Um, I stopped right, right around here. This is where I was. Okay. I realized was, I was just confused by it because I didn't, you know, I didn't see a door that was open at the time when I was going down the street, and uh, I just immediately backed up, pulled over, and uh, as far as I was concerned, at the moment, I was thinking, wow, you know, it was a mistake. I thought, I'm, ins I'm insured, we'll take care of this, we'll be fine. Okay, we're gonna get to that in a few. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, right. Ms. Stevenson, tell me about the conversation you two had. So, um, we're kind of standing there and just trying to figure out what to do. We're both kind of in shock, and, you know, he's saying, yep, you know, I have insurance, no problem. We exchanged information, and I then sent him a text about an hour later just confirming what had happened. And so we kind of left it like it was a weekend, so I didn't know if I was going to even be able to get the car door shut okay. or if I was going to have to go to the dealership, whatever. So we just agreed that we would touch base on Monday, I would get an estimate, and we would go from there. So, Mr. Jacobs, you did, at the time, take responsibility. At the time, I did take responsibility for it. It's crazy that we get a lot of car cases, car accidents, and we always have someone saying that they had no idea that their insurance lapsed. And sometimes they're not being honest about that, but yours actually did the day before the, the, the accident. The day of the accident. The day of the accident? Yes. What I, happened? I, I switched credit cards, ATM cards in my insurance company, and. I didn't update them and no grace period. Lap. There was a letter on my desk. I just didn't open it yet. I hadn't seen it, to be honest with you. Monday, I spoke to the insurance company. I reported everything to them. I told them exactly what happened, sent them photos and everything, you know. And then I find out the next day that uh, my insurance expired the same day of the accident. And we have proof that that's in fact what happened. That's exactly so, what happened. But you were still willing to go out of pocket and still take responsibility for this, well, for this accident. Well, later on, I did realize. I found out later on in regards to the rules and laws in regards to... You did some to, research, some Google searches? I did a little research. Okay. <laughs> and the research, uh, I, I guess, had a little bit of a change of heart. Okay. Um, but the research so, showed me otherwise. I mean, you guys had some pretty lengthy text exchanges, and you were pretty much on the pay for whatever cost she incurred as far as the rental is concerned up until the point where she actually sent you the bill. 